Many people comment on my video that I do not have special emotes, so tell me such tricks so that I can do it without special emotes. So in this video I am going to tell you such tricks in which you will not need special emotes. This video is specially made on your comments so I can expect one like from you. People think that this is the hardest and fastest trick of stumble guys. Yes I agree with that. But right now I am going to tell you how to do this trick easily. So that, even an average player will be able to do it. If we talk about doing this trick exactly like this. Then no one can do this in all the matches in icy height map. No matter how pro he is. That's why I have found some other easy way. Which you can use this trick in every match to qualify faster. To do this. Jump here. Then dive over it. After that you have to jump on the corner of this yellow trampoline, so that you jump higher. Then jump once more. After that you will do this trick. Just imagine that you can cross two checkpoints from here in 6 seconds. Right now I am going to tell you a very cool trick in the space race map. For this you have to first come here. Then dive on this stone and then jump towards the ring. Although you can do it this way too. But there is more risk in doing it this way. Because if you look carefully here. On this side you get so little space to dive on this stone. But on the other side you get more space. Which reduces the risk of falling and with this trick you can go ahead more quickly. Some people will know that if you dive here, you get a boost. But did you know that you can get another boost here in the same way? You can cross the mud with only two boots. A very interesting trick works in the spin go round. If you fall down because of hitting the hammer. Now you will go ahead with the help of the hammer. For this, first you have to stand on this place. And as soon as the hammer is about to hit you. You have to jump. Then you will fly like this and then you go over it. After coming here, you can easily go ahead and qualify. You can do this with all four of these hammers. This trick is not of much use, but you are going to have a lot of fun while doing this trick. You can also take a boost from this small stone, for this you have to dive on this stone, as soon as you do this, you will get a speed boost. If there is such a phase in the block dash map, you can go through it in one jump, just like I did. To do this, first you have to wait when these four blocks are removed. Then you have to jump on the spikes on this side. After that you will do it. If it comes on the other side, you can use the same trick. If you don't have any special emotes, then always try to lag behind the players ahead in pivot push map. Like I'm going on. 
With this, most of the players ahead of you will have special emotes, and if you are behind, you will be saved from them. After coming to this place, everyone has to wait for a while, from here you can qualify by going ahead of them. With the help of this trick, you will stay away from players who have special emotes. Well, I had already told you this trick. But many players find this trick very difficult. So now I am going to tell you the easiest way to do this trick. You can do this very easily without diving. To do this. You have to first see that the block is going left or right if the block is going left side. Then only you have to jump. And you will do this trick very easily. You can do the same thing on the other side. As you can see now these players are ahead of me. But while going a little further. This pink box came from right side to left side. So that those people are waiting for this box to go from left to right side again. But at the same time. Time without waiting I went ahead of them with the help of this trick. You can use this trick in these situations. You can also climb up by colliding with it. Like this. People think that this trick can be done only with kick emote. Do you think the same? So let me show you this trick without using kick emote. To do this. You have to jump from the corner to the stone ahead. Then you have to make your balance and jump forward. Then as I am going forward you have to go the same way. Keep two things in mind while doing this trick. First, jump from the corner. Second, when the box rotates from left to right. Then jump on it. This will reduce your chances of falling, and you will do tricks easily. If you do not like this spike phase, and you do not want to go from there, then there is a very good trick for you so that you will not have to go through the spiked place. For this first come here. And then jump like this. And climb it. As I am doing. Then go ahead, as I am going. If you don't have special emotes in Lava Land map, but your opponent has special emotes, then it's very difficult to survive there. If you want to win at that time, you have to keep distance from them. 
For that, you can stay under two blocks, it will mean that whoever has special emotes will be fighting each other. And if you stay below two blocks you will stay away from them. And your chances of winning will be higher than before. I am doing the same thing as you see now. If you dive like this on this planet, then you will get a booze. You can also take a boost by doing this on this planet. You can also go this way in paint splash map. You can do this on the other side as well. In tile fall map. Stay a little distance from the crowd until the second last tile opens. This will keep you away from being bodies and those who have special emotes. So let me show you the easiest way to go to the base side of the opposite team. If you're going like this, no one can stop you. After coming here you can capture their flags. Jump to the last to avoid getting bodies and players with special emotes. With this you can also avoid getting jump glitches. I don't know why players don't go from left side in pivot push map. If you want to distance from players who have special emotes, then left side is great for you. If you are a new player, then it is a very good suggestion for you As you all know that we cannot jump over 3 blocks in the lava land map. But right now I am going to tell you a trick by which you can jump even on 3 blocks. If I had known this trick earlier. I could have won a lot of matches because most of the matches were eliminated only when I came across a pillar whose height was 3 blocks. To do this trick. First you have to do a jump and then after jumping. If your character reaches their maximum height. Then you have to click on jump for the second time and move your joystick forward. Keep in mind that this trick will work only when your character reaches their maximum height when they jump. If you learn this trick once, then you will win most matches in Lava Land map. Before ending this video, there is an event for you, to participate in this, you will have to record new tricks and send them in Google Form, you will find the link of Google Form in the description. Such a trick which is new and I do not already know that trick will be selected. Then I will take out one winner from the selected clips and the winner will get a surprise from my side. 
You can send more than one trick. If all of them are selected, then your chances of winning will be higher.